Hello friends, we are learning our subject data mining 3160714 and in that we are learning our tool that is Weka tool. In previous lectures we have seen the classification algorithms. Today we want to learn neural network classification algorithm. Okay, now where it is available in Weka. For that, we can say in the classify options, function is there. And in that, we have to choose the multilayer perceptron. That will give us the multilayer perceptron algorithm. Let us see that now. Let me show you our Weka Explorer. Let us open the file. The data file which we are using is our Vigor numeric file. Right? So let us open that from the Veka installation directory and inside that data directory. Now let's say we are opening Vigor numeric file. Now what should we do? We should go to the classify tab. Because we want to use the classification algorithm. Now what should we do? We will choose the classifier. So click on choose. For classifiers, we are having the functions. Now from that functions, we can have multilayer perceptron. Let us see the description of it. A classifier that uses back propagation to learn a multilayer perceptron to classify instances, isn't it? So, this is what we want to apply. So, click on this. Now, click on this to see the properties, isn't it? Now, a classifier that uses backpropagation to learn a multilayer perceptron to classify instances. Now, here we are having few properties. But we are not going to change anything just now. We'll keep all of them as it is and then we'll start, right? So let me select OK button. Fine. Now, what should we do is we should start training and classifying, isn't it? So now we can see the output of our multilayer perceptron algorithm. Let us check it out. What it says. See, we are having 14 instances, 5 attributes. Test mode is 10 fold cross validation. Then sigmoid node 0. For that, we can say weights, threshold. Node 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we can say node 1. Then we can say node 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, typically, we are habitual of, first of all, drawing the figure of our model. Isn't it? And then after we are applying it. So, here we haven't yet seen the figure. Isn't it? We have seen the classification. We are able to see the output. Class yes, then we can say class no, that is for node 0, node 1. Time taken to build is 0.1 seconds. Then we can say correctly classified instances, incorrectly classified instances. Then after root mean square error, then we can say that root relative squared error, right? All those things we are able to see. Now, yes, one more thing is which we are. Uh, looking for each and every classification algorithm. That is, for each and every class, what is the TP rate, true positive rate, false positive rate, precision, recall, half measure, isn't it? Yeah, this is for each and every class, isn't it? Say class is yes, then all these measures are there for us. We know that we... Measure the performance of classification algorithm 
using all these measures isn't it so these are the things available for us what you should do is for each and every classification algorithm you are applying to your data set for all of them make one table wherein you will write the algorithm name and whatever are the precision recall f measure for that particular algorithm on your same data set right so we can have the idea that on your data set which algorithm works the best right this is the way researchers are choosing the algorithm isn't it and confusion matrix what is that that is the tp then fp then fn then tn that is the confusion matrix which gives us the true positive false positive false negative and true negative right these things are being given in the confusion matrix that is the case for each and every classification algorithm isn't it this also should be known to us that for which algorithm what it gives us right so that also you should put in the table so uh, that for particular algorithm what is given that is what is our true positive rate and what is our fp that is false positive rate right that also you should put in your table so we can have the idea now till the time we do not see the figure uh we are not satisfied isn't it okay fine let's see the figure now for that let us click on this multi layer perceptron here we have not set any property now let me set it the gui is false here i want to see the gui right so i'll select this and will click it as true right other things you can set whatever you want but just now i am not interested in setting anything other than that but i am interested in seeing the figure isn't it so i have just said gui as true and giving it as okay button right now let me start yes the figure right this is our what you used to say is our model isn't it this is our multi layer perceptron model isn't it we can say number of epochs they are 500 error per epoch is 0 we haven't yet started learning rate is 0.3 and alpha is 0.2 right so let us say start right if i say accept i'll be able to see the figure right i can see the figure okay this is what is required to me till the time we do not see the figure we do not have the feel of using the neural network isn't it so this is the neural network multi layer perceptron algorithm isn't it we'll close everything or we can say at least we'll learn new algorithm in next lecture